Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, YouTube. There's something with, uh, that the Lord has been dealing with me. Um, something that I need to get out, out in the open. Um, that I may bring others to uh, Jesus Christ. And it's my testimony on sexual abuse uh, as a child. Uh, I was abused once sexually. And um, I'm not going to get into details about it. That's not important. Um, but what is important is if somebody that is watching this video that has been sexually abused uh, by any person either in the past or now or just recently to cry out to Jesus because Jesus is the only one that can erase that memory uh, that is in back of your mind that it, it's, it's stuck on there uh, it's actual uh, it's a demon that follows you everywhere and um, this is why even though I try to ignore it but you can't uh, in the past before the Lord had found me um, I used to drink, uh, smoke weed, I used to, uh, you know, cuss, I used to lie, steal, all these things uh, stemmed back to what had happened to me, and um, it was the foundation for all these sins, because I, I it was burnt in, into my mind. Uh, the sexual abuse and uh, you know it just made me want to you know drink more and, and you know just because I was you know there was nothing you can do to uh, erase this memory there's nothing you can do but the blood of Jesus Christ uh, set me free from this um, this memory it washed it washed it away by his blood that he had shed on a cross and uh, they crucified him he died and rose on the third day and uh, that he says you know if we believe in him and trust in him and call out his name that he will uh, save us and he will set us free from all these um, these things that are holding us back you know from uh, getting close to him now Satan always uses uh, he always uses the past as you know for bad but you know God can use it for good and uh you know, I'm mainly making this video for any of anybody watching this uh, that may have been sexually abused as a child. Like I said, um, uh, recently, or in the past, or right now is being sexually abused, and uh, I'm here to uh, as a. As testifying for Jesus Christ that if he can deliver me from this this memory that, that that was playing back in my mind every single day then uh, he can he can erase the memory you know from uh, your mind by the power in his blood and uh, you know uh, you just have to believe in, in you know, I'm a living testimony of it, and uh, I wouldn't be making this video if I wasn't telling you the truth. And if you don't get this off your mind, it will destroy you. Um, that is the whole goal of Satan, because Satan hates everybody, because we are created in God's image. 
and uh, his goal is to destroy you because he's already going to hell and he wants to take you with him and uh, if you hold on to this memory that is playing back in your mind because nothing can erase it the only thing that can erase that memory that plays back in your mind is the blood of Jesus Christ and uh, he erased it from my memory and I praise God for it I thank him I thank Jesus for it and uh, I have some scriptures I like to read uh, that I would I would like you you know if the Lord leads you to take take time to go over the scriptures you know in your Bible that I'm about to read okay so first we're gonna go to Romans chapter 10 verse 9 through 13 it reads that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved for it is with your heart that you believe and are justified and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved as the scripture says anyone who trusts in him will never be put to shame for there is no difference between Jew and Gentile the same Lord is Lord of all and rich, richly blesses all who call on him for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved Acts chapter 4 verse 12 Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. Okay. Revelation chapter 3 verse 20 through 22. Here I am, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice, and opens the door I will come in and eat with him and he with me to him who overcomes I will give the right to sit with me on my throne just as I overcame and sat down with my father on his throne he who has an ear let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches okay so Basically, you know, this is my testimony. Um, you know, of sexual abuse and uh, how the, you know, Satan, the devil, terrorized me with this, and um, and like I said, it was a foundation for, you know, for all the sins that I've did. I felt like I was, you know, if, if I drank, I felt good, and you know, I was justified. You know, to try to cover it up. Or if I smoked weed, I said, well, I'll just smoke weed and, and I'll cover it up. My friends, it does not go away. It cannot go away. There's nothing you can do uh, to what had happened. It, it's burnt in your mind. And, uh, and the best thing that you can do is call out on the Lord. Cry out to Him because he is waiting and uh, you know this message is, is you know for you you know I pray that the Holy Spirit touches you and uh, I pray that you will you know fall to your knees and call upon the Lord Jesus Christ because he cares for you and the Lord Jesus doesn't want you to keep you know destroying your life keep living in sin he wants you to have peace he wants you to have his peace you know in in his love and you know you you, you now I'm at peace to before where I, where I was living sin I wasn't at peace um, but he gives you know gives us peace you know, through His Holy Spirit, um, He can deliver you from anything. 
Nothing is impossible for Jesus Christ, for God. Okay, He made us, and uh, He knows uh, what we need and what we need to get rid of. And He's the, you know, He's the greatest doctor, you know, to heal us. But the one thing that we have to do. Uh, is just believe in him and have faith okay just have faith and believe in Jesus Christ and I pray this you know this message uh, this testimony will uh, bring others to Jesus Christ others that may have gone through this sexual abuse situation And uh, I thank the Lord Jesus for uh, delivering me from this because this is what was destroying me. This was the, the you know the root of, the root of it all. This is what all stemmed back from. But now the Lord Jesus Christ, He took it away, you know, by his, by the blood that He shed on the cross, and, and He erased it. Only Jesus Christ can erase that. Nothing, nothing can't, it'll still be there. Any kind of drugs, it'll still be there. Cross, the world, okay, for all of the, the past, the future, the present. He died for all the sins. And we are to lay it down at his feet because he paid for it. And that's what he wants us to do. That's about it for this message. And uh, our glory goes to Jesus Christ. And I'm one of those persons, you know, you know, to cry out to Jesus Christ. Go in a quiet room, alone. Shut the door. And fall to your knees. And cry out to the Lord Jesus because He cares about you and He loves you. And He will give you true peace. Not worldly peace. I'm talking about true peace from God. The living God, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is alive. And, um, and he does speak, uh, whether through his word, you can put something on your heart, or you can speak in your head. But he does speak, and he moves uh, by his Holy Spirit. In which, when you confess your sins, and you cry out to the Lord Jesus Christ to save you, and you believe that he was raised from the dead, then you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ will come into you, and will begin to work in you. He will start working in your life to clean your life out, to wash all the sins by his blood. And that is what we must do. So, uh, I pray this video blesses somebody, and uh, our glory goes to Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen.